everyone, welcome to Whiteboard with Murphy in three minutes. Today we're going to talk about a subject that is extremely important. Why too many drugs are not good for egg quality and especially genetics. Now, in my practice every day I see women who had conventional IVF, had tons of drugs, got many eggs, but then most of their embryos are genetically abnormal. I have a lot of patients who want to do genetic gender selection because they want to have a boy or a girl, they do not have infertility, but then when they go to do conventional IVF, all these drugs that they pump them inside the body tend, tend to produce mostly genetically abnormal embryos, but these people are not infertile. A lot of women do get pregnant and they have miscarriages, then they, went to do, they go to do IVF, and now they can't even make an embryo to even transfer back inside their uterus. But that was not their problem. So the higher the dose of medication, the poorer the egg quality. But I'm going to explain to you here how it works. Imagine Mary and Mike, they want to have a baby John. Mary is 46 chromosomes. Mike is 46 chromosome. And we're going to produce an embryo of a baby that's normal 46 chromosome. So the egg has to split in half 23 and 23. The sperm has to split in half 23 and 23. Now, a lot of mistakes happen here. So instead of cutting into 46 chromosome 23, 23, it could be 24, 22. Now let's go back to the ovary to show you what happened physiologically before and after stimulation. On cycle day three, patient has a follicle that comes from the ovarian reserve, which I always tell patients, ovarian reserve is like stars. And then one of those stars becomes the moon. We can't see the stars, they're too far, right? But the moon is closer, and then we can see the moon, which is the follicle. Now, when on cycle day three, it's small. It's five millimeters. And guess what? It's normal. It's 46 chromosomes. So any woman that has follicles inside their ovaries, even at 100 years old, they still have approximately 1,000 eggs. And guess what? Th those eggs have normal DNA. Now... When this egg matures, or you stimulate with the drugs, on cycle day 14, which is around the time of ovulation, the follicle becomes 20 millimeter. This is when the DNA is split into 23 and 23. But guess what? A lot of studies show that the more medications you give early on for those follicles, the more likely this egg is gonna split unequally. And instead of 23, 23, it's going to be 22, 24. If the 24 comes here with the 23 chromosome, instead of giving 46, it's going 47 chromosome embryo, which end up with Down syndrome or abnormal embryo. So less medication seems to have a better division of the egg into two equal 23, 23. So Mary, Mike, and I would be extremely, extremely happy